Hi, it's Steve from Parrot Select. In this video, we're going to give you some tips on how to properly clean and maintain the gutter system on your home. Keeping your gutters clean and properly maintained is important. We want to make sure that all of that rainwater is taken away from your home and not down around your foundation where it can cause some serious problems. We'll discuss a couple of ideas on how to properly clean your gutter system and we'll also show you some of the products that you can use to help prevent a dirt buildup in your gutters. Now that we have the ladder secure, we can go ahead and have a look at our gutters. Oh yes, they do need to be cleaned. Now the most cost effective way to clean your gutters is to simply have some method of scooping out the debris that's in your gutter. You can either buy these commercially or you may even take a plastic jug such as a vinegar jug, cut that off, something that will fit down into your gutters and not damage them. Have a pail to put your debris in and a pair of safety gloves so we don't cut ourselves. We'll just take our scoop, get down in that gutter, and we'll just continue to do that all along. You'll have to move your ladder, of course. Now, depending on the area that you live in, you'll find different items inside of your gutter. In this location, we're surrounded by a lot of hardwood trees. Those tend to lay flat in the bottom of your gutter and will build up over time. We are also in proximity to some pine trees, so we get lots of pine needles. Now one of the first types of gutter protection that we will show you is this open foam style. This particular one folds, will lay in your gutter, and that will allow water to easily penetrate through there. However, small organic material such as pine needles will tend to stick in there, dust, eventually those will plug up and no longer allow water to flow easily into your gutter. It also will trap a lot of material inside and then become very difficult to clean if you leave them too long. Now here's another style which uses a rigid plastic which has a lot of large perforations on one side. On the back side it has a finer mesh screen. That fine screen will tend to prevent most small items from getting in there. However, items like pine needles can still penetrate through there as well as any type of dust or sand. These are relatively easy to install. They simply tuck in underneath and snap onto the front of your gutter and can easily be popped off for cleaning. Then we'll also show you one other type of guard for your gutters. Now besides being inexpensive, this particular product is also quite effective. You'll note that the perforations in it are quite large, so it will allow things like pine needles to get in through as well as any sand or gravel from asphalt shingles. It does keep leaves out and the nice thing about this is you don't necessarily need to take it off to clean your gutters. If you don't have a buildup of leaves in there, typically you can flush that out with a hose and water will easily penetrate through this material so you may not even have to take it off to clean your gutter. Now that we've talked about some of the products that are available to protect leaves and debris from getting into your gutters, we'll also talk about some of the devices that are available to keep those items from getting into your downspouts. Something as simple as this plastic device. It has a hood on the top of it to prevent large items from getting down in there. As you can see, however, there is a fair bit of space in there, so they definitely won't prevent all leaves from getting down your downspout. And we also have another type of leaf strainer for your downspouts. This one has an aluminum insert that fits down into your downspout. Guard itself is easily removed clean. Again, there's some fairly large openings in here so that won't prevent all of the leaves from getting down into your downspout. However, it will stop the bulk of them. Another style that is available to us, this particular one is made of aluminum. It is flexible enough that you can form it to any shape, whether it be round or rectangular. And that will just have a friction fit down into the opening of your downspout. Again, is easily removable for cleaning. And take note of the size of the perforations in it. That will tend to block most of the leaves that may collect in your gutter system, but will allow sand and small pieces of pine needles and such to actually flow through and down your downspout. So now we're all set to flush out the last bit of sediment that's in the bottom of our gutters. We'll simply use our garden hose with a spray nozzle on the end of it. So now that we've cleaned all of the heavy debris out of our gutter, our next step will be to take a garden hose flush whatever's remaining on the bottom down our downspout and then our job will be complete. And we'll monitor the output of that drain to make sure that we get a good water flow. 
Now that we've got our downspout cleared up nicely, we're gonna put one of these guards in to prevent any items from going down in there. We've chosen the flexible one because that allows us to make that conform exactly to the opening into our downspout. Now that we've got our job finished, it's up to you to start yours. Now the tips that we showed you today fit perfectly for this style of home. Yours may be different. However, the tips that we talked about as far as shingle material, leaves, and pine needles are all applicable to any home. So good luck with your cleaning. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that it was helpful to you. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.